Okay. Um. How many people in here uh, have real Christmas trees? Not too many. How many people in here have fake Christmas trees? God. Where's your Christmas tree? All right. <clears throat> um. Christmas trees. They uh, they originated in about the 18th century. We have decorations for them, you know, stars, family things. You know, we put cute little stuff on there from like the elementary school pictures of everybody. You know what I'm saying? And there are they're a sign of hope. They're a sign of uh, of strength during during bad times. You know. Christmas season, sometimes people go through tough things. I had a friend who, uh, he lost his father, um, you know, Christmas time, had to bring that joy back. It's pretty good. Felt pretty proud of myself. Christmas tree helped out a lot. Good smells, you know, that, that, that aroma that fills the air with, uh, with the, the lights mixed with the, uh, with the tree burning, you know, not like literally burning, but you know, just that warm feeling. Does anybody know about that feeling? The people with Christmas trees know about that feeling? Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. All right. <clears throat> um, it's clear that Christmas trees, their uh, their origins are what we want to say, maybe Renaissance, early modern Germany, probably something in that area. The German soldiers, like I said before about, you know, feeling good during dark times. German soldiers, they used to, uh, the nurses, they used to put up Christmas trees. Get your slut <laughs> <laughs> oh, you the man. Kayla, you the man. I mean, well. <laughs> you know what I mean. I'm still recording, by the way. Imagine that it's Christmas. You go downstairs or into the living room, and you see a big layer of dead leaves off of the Christmas tree on all of your presents. And you have to go through the effort of cleaning all that up and brushing it up and sweeping it up and throwing it away before you can even touch your presents. Um, I think that the, that having to clean it up and everything is just too much of a hassle. It's pretty tedious, and it shouldn't be uh, anything that you should really be doing with the Christmas tree. Um, as Bobo has said here before, I'm um, talking about the smell of Christmas trees. You can also have the smell of a Christmas tree by candles or by little scented pine cones that our family use, and you put them around the place as decorations also. Um, I think Christmas tree looks almost just about the same as a regular Christmas tree, but it also comes in different variations. You can have a white one, a really dark colored one, a light green one. Um, you can even have a black Christmas tree if that's what you want. Um, <coughs> <laughs> Not like that, but um, um, for every tree that you cut down, in the whole lifetime of a uh, Christmas tree, it can absorb up to one ton of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So um, every Christmas tree that you cut down, you're depriving yourself with that oxygen that can help the world. And 